Hello everybody, this is Kathy, and I am joining a bunch of girls with uh, for Shannon. Uh, she's crafty. She's doing a 6x6 six six paper pad class, and we will be following along with this sketch. I am late to the game. I've had my grandkids for a week, and I have been, even though I'm posting videos, um, kind of like behind on social media so I finally caught up and I'm going to show you my kit that I put together and this is the sketch I'll do this part live and then I'll stop and come back and do a voiceover I think I chose I've had these paper pads and I never use them so I'm really glad that um, she is doing this gets me using so I'll just kind of oh You guys, you know last year I Was into rainbows and I still am I don't know what it is about it But this is my inspiration that I went off of oh, that's so pretty. I love it All right, so I will just kind of flip through so it's not too long. Oh, I love, love, love those colors. Oh, I need to dig through my summer photos of the kids. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, my goodness. It just makes my heart happy, you know? Pretty colors. I need some happy in my life. Okay, and then it repeats again. So good. And then I pulled this one for kind of softer tones, like for boys, for the boys' summer pages. Still rainbow vibe, but kind of softer. Beautiful. All right, I also, I have some full sheets, but also in my summer drawer, I pulled this scrap out. And this one, I love that soft and the, the red. Yeah, I'll be using that side. And a rainbow dot, an orange. Of course, this beautiful rainbow, popsicles. And this is a background, maybe, if I could pull it off. Or this one. That kind of makes me dizzy. But I love the colors. Love the colors. Here's a background sheet, which I will be using this side. Love this for summer. Oh, I love this. That'll be the page. <laughs> this green with flip-flops. Beautiful. And this. Oh, man. I also pulled in some white cardstock, so I love the pink and orange again this side. And then I threw in a cut apart. And there's the back. And then I threw in some white cardstock. Because you know me, I love my white backgrounds. Okay, so I pulled in these rubber embellishments and these epoxy, some brands ephemera summer ephemera some brats I would love to use up these are from an old Heidi Grace collection and lots of flowers rain boots lots of ephemera and stickers back here and then I pulled in two summer chipboards to use so Let's get started. I will be back and I will pull some papers and photos and then I'll be right back. Hello everybody. This is Kathy and I, like I said, I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of this. Now I went through my 6x6 six six paper pads and picked out these three colors to go with Briley's photos. And I'm going to mount my photos on the blue to kind of go with her swimsuit. Sorry about the glare. I hope it's not like that throughout the whole thing. But my light over my phone just kind of glares right down on my glossy photos. So I'm cutting down 
my paper around my photo. This layout came together pretty quickly, I thought, but the video, me showing my kit, it's going to be like a longer video. Now, my stitching circle from the sketch is going to be done in ink pen. Now I am using um, fuchsia, ocean, and turquoise. And you could pick these up at close to my heart or anywhere really. So I'm going to splatter the background up top and below to give my layout some more rainbow vibe. I just love the colors. Love how this layout turned out. It came together quickly because of using the 6x6 six six paper pads. Alright, so I, I had to wait for my splatters to dry. And now I am going to lay out my papers. I already put glued on them or adhesives so that it would be quicker to just glue them down. Now this piece I cut like a three inch piece out of my six by six and then cut a banner. And this piece, that little journaling thing, I'm just using it for paper. And I cut it in half so that I can extend it over to the side. Now, the sketch, I turned it. Because my photos were um, four by six vertically, I went ahead and turned the sketch. So now I'm just kind of placing my embellishments. Glue them on. And now I'm coming in, I... Um, pulled out some notebook paper and I just kind of trimmed the edge just to stick that little notebook page in and now I'm going to stick in some brads. I used four brads on this layout and I was very pleased of that. I hardly, I've been getting out of using brads and now my video cuts off so you'll miss me punching out my butterflies. Um, my memory was full, so I had to delete some vid old videos. Now I'm trying to figure out, I have um, this little chipboard beach ball, so I thought I'd use that. Glue that on there. My title is coming from the chip. Oh my goodness, I pointed to my phone, and now I'm doing a second, <laughs> second voiceover. I'm always pointing at my phone and then it stops the voiceover. So, oh, this video, if I can get it up, it'll be a miracle. All right, so lastly, I am, I glued my title on. Now I'm just kind of gl gluing down some floral bits. And let's see, what else do I add? I think that is it after I add those flowers. Don't forget to check out the links below. And if you want to play along, that would be great. And I'll see you next Sunday with another layout. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.